Hey guys, a little bit of hot tea for a freezing cold day out definitely is a bonus. All right. Hey, sorry that we are a little bit behind schedule today, but I kind of gave you a heads up on it. So hope you weren't waiting too long. Hi, I'm Angela Wolf. This is Behind the Scenes. Be sure to say hi and where you are from. You never know. Your neighbor might be sewing or fishing next to you. And today we are live on Facebook and YouTube. And I am announcing officially the Chloe Trench sew along. Are you thinking that maybe that happened last week? <laughs> it did, but now I'm officially announcing it because I had, I was having a little bit of a problem with my schedule to make sure that everything was up and it is. So, hey, Susan, Francine, Judy, great to see you guys all rolling in. So yesterday for all of you in the Fashion Sewing Club, I've never laughed so hard uh, until last night I went back and read through all your comments. We had a little glitch on the, uh, screen you know when you go live you never know what your camera is gonna do <laughs> oh gosh i've never you guys are the best if i ever have a bad day i'm just gonna go read your comments or like karina wrote in <laughs> i said i was at my board meeting which i was but uh karina said i thought that was when you and winter in the hot tub and you're right but that not today <laughs> so oh you guys are the best all right so we're not gonna be long today but i'm gonna show you really quick where to navigate for the Chloe Trench, and a few other things you might want to know. All right, so I see a ton of you rolling in from both uh, Facebook, oh, we got from the UK, uh, Facebook and YouTube, so you can leave your comments. I can see both of them coming in through here. So I am gonna do a quick show and tell before we go to what's going on with uh, the sew along. And this is the winner of the week. <laughs> Janet, you have won. Let's see if I can bring you up here. I think you will all agree. This is the best fashion rehab fixer upper ever, ever. Okay, so <laughs> look at how cute she is here. Adorable, right? Well, what the whole story is, do you see what that is? A big old iron mark. Yeah. So I've done that before. I've actually done it on my back. And then I figured nobody would see it. So I wear a sweater over it. But this is right in the front. And she was laughing, saying that this was such a bonehead move. Well, we've all done it probably. Well, I know I have. So what did she do? She took my beautiful lace designs <laughs> and embroidered all over it and made it look like it was part of the top. So I would have to say A plus on that one. Hold on, let me find my... I just had it. Oh my gosh. I do. Today is just one of those days. It started yesterday. Uh, I have a little present coming your way, by the way, in the mail. And um, it's one of my thread cutters. But you know, I know what happened. I had it in here and Wynn was roaming through here earlier and he took one of my thread cutters and he also took my thread cutters snippers because he thought those would be great for the boat. So Vance, if you're listening, those were great for sewing, but my husband just captured them for the boat. Besides, I heard you were next to one of my friends last week. So my friends from the thread cutters, you're awesome. And Wynn just took Janet's prize away. <laughs> so Janet, congratulations, I see you in here. I'll be sending it your way. <laughs> oh gosh, rookie mistake. No, you're not a rookie. You do a ton of clothes. so. Um, I will be sending you a thread cutters. And I think there was one around here for Judy Romano from the giveaway from a couple weeks ago. So yours is going there too if Wynn didn't take it, right? Uh, you never know about him. <laughs> so I love this. Thank you for sharing. So I love it when you share some of your foupas and how you fixed it because it gives us all like a little bit of uh, encouragement there to say, hey, you know what? I know when I screw up, I tried to find a fix. This is brilliant. Brilliant, and it looked great. And you are very welcome. <laughs> hey, Jules, uh, my sister, we've been trying to connect for like three days. And the only time we can talk is if we're uh, live. Perfect. All right, I have a few more for you. Here was Peg's. Let me just show you a little more show and tell here. Peg has a ton of fabrics she just purchased, but wait till you see all these things she just sewed. Okay. Kate skirt. Is this the Kate skirt or the fringe skirt? I think this is the fringe. I love that lining. Oh my gosh. 
So if you've been missing some of these outfits, they're in the Angela Wolf Patterns group, which love, no, that's the cape. That's very cute. But that could be a combination of both. Adorable. And I love the top. So I had to show this off too, because I love the roses on that, the floral. Super cute. All right, who else do we have up here? You guys were busy this week, sewing away. All right, we got Darlene's. I think this was, this looks like the Linda tunic. Let me just bring it up so you can see it. There we go. Great colors. Floral are so, all floral prints are so in for spring. And this is right on target. All this, all the right colors and everything. Very cute. Hi, Kay, great to see you. <laughs> I, You have been so busy lately that uh, we haven't seen you in the live show, so welcome. Marion, Marcy, I see all of you rolling in. So uh, we have a new thing for the Fashion Sewing Club. If you're not a member, you might wanna join because a lot of the Chloe Trench sew along will be in there. But we have such a great community of people that um, I don't even need to show up and they can just hang out <laughs> and have fun. But what is our new phrase for if we have live shows after 5 p.m.? Well, it's always 5 p.m. somewhere, but uh, I just loved it. <laughs> I'll let them tell you. I'm not even gonna spoil it. No spoiler alert. All right, let me just, I got one more skirt here to show you and then we'll get to the Chloe Trench. Okay, Cynthia. I love this. And I don't remember if I showed this last week or not because I couldn't, I think I maybe did, but I don't know. If not, this was definitely worth bringing up again. So she followed the technique that I did with my white linen and bright yellow linen skirt. It was bright yellow linen and an off-white silk burnout. Yeah. So you can see this closer. Look at the inside. And then she put lace on the outside. Super, super cute. I could see that with a pair of black boots and a black sweater all day long. Or in the summer, a black tank and black heels. Very, very cute. I actually have some black lace and I've been playing with it. I, I bought it to do something for Halloween and I didn't end up using it. And I love this with the red. So I have a feeling that this might be going into my little uh, Richter scale this week too. So. I am still finishing up my cashmere version of the Chloe Trench. Yeah, it's very cute. I'm just double checking that I got her up here. Let's see. Very classy. I agree. All right, Heidi, what do you have to say? I scorched my left back shoulder, my wedding gown before the day. Everyone loved the mini bouquet and full of ribbons and Coveted it with no one ever knew. Hey, good job there. I think mine was on a fleece. And I, well, that's not even so bad. What about the time that I added embroidery? Wait, what did I do? Oh, I was going to embroider my logo on the back of my fleece for fishing. And I wasn't thinking, and I hooped the fleece, and I tightened it too much. And so there's like this huge hoop ring on the back. I figure I'm fishing. The guys aren't going to figure out what that was. <laughs> and you know what? Nobody's ever noticed until I pointed out like I just did now. So now they're going to know if they're listening to the show. Oh, yeah. Hey, Jenny, are you on here? I'm wearing my beautiful Texas uh, necklace. I needed a little uh, Texas in my life today. <laughs> okay, let's see who else is out. We got you guys were really sewing up a lot. I think there was a couple more. Here's another Janet. Janet has been busy. That's really cute. So that is the Rouge T. You can see her twisted neckline. Very cute. And I love that fabric. And let me just check one more. I could have sworn there was. Okay, yeah. So Robin Hill, <laughs> if you're on here, Robin, you really made Wynn and I laugh right out loud on this one. So she posted this in the group. I know it's Angela Wolf Patterns and usually it's just Angela Wolf Patterns in there, but this was kind of relatable where she said, maybe this is what Wynn needs to do <laughs> for me <laughs> with a sewing studio, of course. So this guy built this house on 
a lake or a pond or whatever it is so he could fish out of his living room. So all my fishing buddies, there you go. There is your he said he, he shed, she shed. I have my she shed here, but I don't have a moat around it. <laughs> but I thought that was pretty cool. All right, so let's get back to business. The Chloe Trench so along and a couple of events coming up that you might want to know about. One of them I can't tell you about yet until it's finalized, but it's in March and many of you live around there. I can give you more tomorrow um, if it's confirmed for sure. So you'll just have to wait by, you'll just have to wait for that one. So let me just bring up the Chloe Trench so along and I'm gonna tell you where to find the schedule. Let's see, here we go. Here you go. If you go to Fashion Sewing with Angela Wolf, Fashion Sewing with Angela Wolf .com. All right. If you don't know how to spell my name, it's W O L F. I would think you would know that by now, though. So, Angela Fashion Sewing with Angela Wolf, and let's see. There you go. I just posted this, and if you are one of the first people that saw this yesterday when I posted it, I've already changed all the dates. <laughs> so I was working on a trip at the end of the month, and I wanted to make sure they didn't conflict. So Fashion Sewing Club members, I will send another email out to you uh, because I actually changed the dates back. I changed them yesterday and I changed them back. So you won't miss a thing. So if you click on here, it's the first blog post. If you scroll down, I just gave you some information about the pattern. This is the pattern that we are sewing. If you've missed this, the Chloe Trench, it's very easy to do. You might've seen when I did this out of wax canvas. And in here, Let's see. If you've never bought one of my patterns before, it comes in a spiral bound notebook if you get the paper version or you can do PDF. And there's a lot of information in here, but the first page you're gonna need to go to is your size chart. So on here, when you go to the size chart, this is what I wanna share with you. I'm just gonna bring this down for a second. On here, you will find, now, a lot of people, you've heard me say this before, so plug your ears for like 10 seconds or just visit for a moment because <laughs> it's old news. But in case you've never sewn with us before, there's general measurements and there are actual measurements. So if you look on here, exact pattern measurements. I walked outside in the rain. My glasses are filthy. So on here, if you look at the top, it will tell you the general pattern measurements. That means for whatever size that you're doing. If you're, we've got size zero to 18, and then there's another batch of sizes, 16W to 36W. And if you look on here, it will tell you the exact measurements for bust, waist, and hip. So general measurements are just your general measurements. If you sew my patterns and you're always sewing a size 10, you'll probably still be sewing a size 10. But if you want the jacket to fit a little tighter, or you want it to be a little looser, this is where you're going to want to pay attention. The exact pattern measurements are the exact bust, waist, and hip measurements. And they are also listed in case you forget when you cut out your beautiful pattern pieces. Hold on a second. I got them right here. I'm not going to the whiteboard today. Here you go. It's also listed right here. And this tells you the exact measurement for the bust the waist and the hip. Meaning, let's just say that you have a bust measurement, uh, like your actual bust measurement. Let's just say it's 42 inches, okay? On here, it says size 10 is a 41.5. That includes ease. So that means that jacket is not going to fit all the way around unless you're just gonna wear it like hanging open. <laughs> but the next size up is a 43. And so if you're a 42 and you go up to a 43, that only gives you one inch of ease. So if you're going to wear a big turtleneck like what I have on today, that's not going to be big enough. So you'd probably want to go up to the next size, which is a 44.5. I designed this jacket to be a little bit looser. If you look right here, I don't have the belt on it, but you can kind of get an idea if you haven't seen it. This is a summer version. It can hang open, uh, use a very lightweight interfacing on it so it drapes nicely and it's not too stiff. And then the back, 
hangs like this. And usually if you have the belt on it, it there's a little scrunching. You got a little color here. And, and it's just supposed to be kind of a loose, almost sweater-like feel. So make sure that you give yourself, I would say, a good three inches of ease. It'll just be more comfortable too. Now, you don't have to. If you're low on fabric, like we talked about yesterday in Fashion Sewing Club, you can make all kinds of adjustments on that. So, uh, yep, it's the finished garment measurement, Karina. So this is if it's all sewn together with my half-inch seam allowances. Perfect way to say that. And uh, yes, Angie, the thread colors are up on the website. So pick your winners because then we can send them to you. Actually, you're on my list to email today. So I believe they're all listed. And if they're if if they went down again and they're only half listed, then I got to figure out what happened. But there's 60 colors there, as you can see behind me. I twisted them on Instagram today to show them off. I'm actually using them on my cashmere jacket too, which here's one more piece of fabric. So I would love to know, first of all, what fabrics are you using? If you're in the Fashion Swing Club, go watch yesterday's video. Uh, you can always go back and watch the replays. You don't have to be live. And to go there, you're gonna go to uh, Academy dot angelawolf.com if you've never if you if you want to join there's a lot of good information in there but we did a lot of fitting fabric how to create a lining pattern if you want to be lining be lining <laughs> you want to have lining in there which is uh would be really comfortable too uh yay all thread all the thread colors are up susan yay technology's on my side for like 10 minutes right <laughs> Lynn, I have a request. Next time you're in California, take us on a trip to Joe's studio in the Fashion Garment District to get fabric. That sounds like a great plan. No plans to go back to California right now, at least not in the meantime. Seattle in the fall, but um, you'll have to stay tuned for that. <laughs> okay, Tracy, let me bring your comments and see if I can just make myself a little smaller here. If I go like this, <laughs> okay, let me just read yours. I'll take it down. What is a good, what do you got here? What is a good ease for the fringe skirt? Not sure if a sitting hip measurement is good. Mine is about two and a half inches different from the regular hip measurement. Is that enough to sit comfortably? I would say yes. Now, when I do my pencil skirts or the fringe skirt, I have very little ease. I mean, I probably don't. I don't even think I have two inches of ease. You just want to make sure you can walk. Now the Kate skirt is tighter at the waist and angles out. So there I have the waist fit almost exact. I can't stand for it to slope down. Um, and if you gain weight or anything, it kind of just rides up a little higher. But uh, for the fringe skirt, two and a half inches, you should be totally fine. Yeah. <laughs> Karina, remember to read the chart. <laughs> oh, to read the chat. So, Karina, I don't know if you heard this. Um, first off, I heard your hot tub comment, and I was laughing in the middle of the board meeting. <laughs> the real board meeting. I got your comment. <laughs> oh, I thought that was hilarious. So, um, yes, if you go in the Fashion Sewing Club for yesterday's live chat, you have got to read the chat. That's what I read last night uh, when we got back from dinner. And I was laughing so hard I'm trying to watch Jeopardy, right? <laughs> <laughs> which um, I think I got three answers right, which is a miracle for me because those guys are so smart. It's nuts. But anyways, I read the chat in the middle and Wynn kept saying, what are you laughing at? Jeopardy's not so funny. I'm like, oh, you, you got to hang out with the Wolfpack one of these days. <laughs> They'll keep you in stitches. No pun intended. Okay. Will I be in Puyallup? I am coming to Puyallup. Actually, Patty, um, I will be there Thursday, Friday, and Saturday in the Kai Scissors booth. I'm going to be helping the, in the Kai Scissors booth, and that's where I'll have my patterns. And I'm teaching a handful of classes each day. I chose the only classes that I proposed were the ones that are a little bit less than an hour because that way you can come in. I can give you a lot of information, a little bit of time, and then you can come back to the booth and hang out and say hi instead of having a longer class that takes most of my day. So, yeah. And also, I have something else coming up in Seattle. It was going to be this spring, but it's going to be in the fall, and I didn't want to duplicate. So, 
Oh, Lynn, it's not working? I'll check it because because I watched it last night. Oh, Marianne, well, good luck with that weight loss. And you know what? Whatever size you are, clothes can look great on you anyways. And I can feel your pain on that because I've talked to a ton of people that that was something that they've been working on. Some health issues, some not. But losing weight is a very challenging thing to do. I can think of this summer when I was just trying to lose a handful of pounds. And it's, it's difficult. So good luck. And I can't wait to, you sew, to see what you sew up. All right. Yeah, maybe make a few things, quick sews that you feel great. to. Well, here's an idea for you, Marianne. Make a couple of like sweater sets, just like sweater sets, because the sweater will fit no matter what size. If you go down a lot, then gift it away. But you could also cut it up and add some things to it later on called refashioning, right? Oh, good, Pam. I'll see you in class. Okay, so a few more things. Oh, I'll see Angie in class too. Definitely, Jan, it's a huge battle. Okay, so let me bring up this Chloe pattern again. Oops. Here we go. Okay, so if you go to Fashion Sewing with the Angela Wolf, you will come to the first blog post. This is just the schedule. So there will be blog posts to go with this. So if you're not in the Fashion Sewing Club, there's still going to be plenty of information for you. It's just the detailed information for fitting and a lot of the communication will be in the Fashion Sewing Club because that's part of the whole reason of having that group. So if you go through here, there's a discount code for um, the pattern for... Any pressing tools, the clapper, I use uh, interfacing. If you want any of my good interfacings, they're 60 inches wide, by the way, so you don't need as much. There's a coupon code here. What is it? Now, Fashion Sewing Club members, you get 25% off this month, so don't forget about that. Um, that's it, it pretty much pays for the price of the club, I would say, but here you go. I think the discount is, yeah, New Year 2020. I'll just add it right up here real quick for you. There, New Year 2020 is all caps, is the coupon code for 10% off and that will give you for the pattern, the clapper, or um, anything else that you need for sewing this jacket. So what supplies are you going to need? First of all, you got to find some fabric. And if you've never sewn a jacket before, consider just grabbing a cotton or an inexpensive uh, wool blend or even a polyester rayon blend. If, something that you can find that's not very expensive to create basically a muslin. But if you use a fabric that you might like, you could wear it again instead of just having something that you throw away. So next week, I will be bringing on a muslin fabric onto my dress form to show you how to uh, alter the shoulders and a few things like that. But the first thing you want to do is grab some fabric, make sure that you wash it, or if you're going to wash and dry it, first thing you need to do is wash and dry the fabric. I usually do it twice to make sure that it's pre-shrunk. Now this is cashmere, so I took this to the dry cleaners and had it dry cleaned, the whole fabric, not after it's cut, and then steam pressed. And that shrinks it up for you. And I attach the interfacing to the back, which I've already done that. And you can see that on yesterday's video as well. And I'm pretty much ready to sew now. The next thing I'm going to do, okay, sorry, back to the supplies. You need to have um, a good quality iron that does not squirt water. But if you have a little steam and a tailor's clapper on there, that makes your seams look so good. It really does. Uh, it's great for your hems, anything like that. So let me just bring this back down. All of that's on the website, by the way. So let's see, clapper. Now the clapper isn't a must, but if you're gonna sew a lot of garments, I would say I'd highly recommend it because it just makes the quality of your pressing so much better. I'm using my woolly poly thread to finish the seams, but you can also use what I showed you guys. And you've seen this on the It's So Easy episodes. Create some, let me, let me make this uh, smaller here for a sec. Bias binding along the edges of the seams. So see how, how this frays so much? 
I would either need to surge that or do something. Instead, I used my bias binding foot and ran this down a whole bunch of different pieces of my jacket. Yeah, this it's a little addictive though, so you're gonna wanna bind like everything. Trust me, these are all from my episode of It's So Easy, so that's why I have contrasting, but I'm gonna actually take this off because I already had this cut out for a jacket. The only thing I forgot to do was add interfacing to the hem. So uh, depending, this is, a, this is a gabardine fabric. Doesn't wrinkle much. Let's see, what else do I have here? And here's a few more pieces. So on the back piece, you can either have a center back seam or which if you look closely at the pattern. Now, if you get stuck on the pattern, you don't have to be in the Fashion Sewing Club for this. Just go to Angela Wolf Patterns Facebook group and leave a question there and I'd love to help you. So on the back, pattern piece, there's two lines. There's one here, you can see the arrow on it, and then one right here. This line, if you fold this back, is the line if you're going to cut this on the fold. This line out here is if you want a center back seam. Now, what difference does it make? Well, it's really your preference. If you want a nice center back seam, I would add some nice top stitching to that and make it look really cute. You can also add an extra belt loop because I only have them on the side seams for this jacket. Or say that your fabric that you have is really narrow. Maybe you found a 22 inch wide fabric or something. That's pretty narrow. And that would be kind of hard to get a full back out of. So this way you can cut one back piece here and then slide it down and cut the other back piece. So you have those options. Uh, let's see, what else is there? Ask questions away, by the way. What type of fabric do you use for the seam binding? I use, Marsha, I usually use a, well, you can use anything really, but I use silk, quite often silk charmeuse. That gets a little pricey. So take a look at some polyester satin fabric. Just cut it up. Uh, something that's soft and thin because you want it to just glide through that foot. And also you don't want it to be too bulky on your seam. You could also do, um, let's see, think of, you could do chiffon, but chiffon, you can kind of see through. So you want something that's really lightweight. Let me grab, well, I also, by the way, here's one. It doesn't have to be anything that slinky. Here is just a lightweight cotton. This was from Matthew's line, you know, from Mr. Domestic. You saw him on my show recently because uh, he's a brother brand, brand ambassador. Well, this fabric worked great. I cut the bias strips and just attached it and... That was fine too. So that was a lightweight cotton. And this is a lightweight, this is not silk. This is polyester, which I don't normally like, but I loved the color of this. And it had a little bit of stretch. And I was gonna make a top, but I was afraid I was gonna be too hot. Lining, it is. So what I'm gonna do with this one is I'm actually lining just the sleeves and that's it. So if you're gonna line just the sleeves, you can cut two pieces Cut your sleeve out of the lining and your sleeve out of the fabric and just sew it, attach this at the hem. So you're going to attach the lining to the hem and then treat that like one piece and then sew it into the jacket. We'll get more into linings later on, but all right. And this is a wool gabardine. I really like this one. I think I'm going to be sewing a lot of jackets. Okay. What other supplies do you need? A uh, good a good needle, brand new needle. I would say it depends on the width of your or thickness of your fabric, but I usually use a 12. My fabric isn't stretched, so I don't need to worry about that. And you're going to need something for your belt loops. So these are D-rings. You need two for each sleeve. And I have to go find my belt. It's still in my luggage from the Florida trip. But on the belt, I chose not to have a closure there. I have it just tied. So if you look closely at this picture here, it's just tied. I don't know if I can make that bigger. Maybe. Oh, there you go. Kind of. A little bit bigger. Okay. And then the rest of the things on here that you'll find. Now, this is really important. So don't miss this. And I have not posted this in the Fashion Sewing Club yet, but I will. But you do not have to be in the club for this part. So when you go through here, there's a whole list of days and times. I have click here, click here, click here, and all you have to do is click there to join. So for week one, which is 
this week. Because <laughs> last week was just like a fake test run, right? <laughs> it just gave you an extra week to buy fabric. But uh, anyways, this week, yesterday, we were in the Fashion Sewing Club. You can go back and watch that replay. Today is here, so you can click right here to watch on Facebook or on YouTube. And then we have Angelo of Patterns Group, which is free to join. Click there to join. You have to leave a comment, though, to say why you want to join or we're not going to let you in. Uh, just keeps make sure that just say you want to sew the Chloe Trench or you want to hang out with the Wolf Pack, something like that. We'll let you in. Now, that group is free to anyone. And that we're doing a live comment and Q&A there at 4 p.m. It's just going to be for maybe 30 minutes on the 16th. Okay. And that's there. Now, week number two, it tells you all the dates to save. If it's Fashion Sewing Club, I've highlighted it. So if you're not in it and you don't want to be in it, just skip, skip past those. And what I'll be doing is adding blog posts of each week of what we're talking about. So you'll have access to a few photos, but the videos where the really in-depth information are really great with these Q&As. Now, here's one up here. And this is for anyone. You do not have to be in the club, but this will show you kind of what happens there. You can watch the first video of It's So Easy, and it tells you it starts in six days, one hour, 19 minutes. If you'd like to join that, all you have to do is go on here and click join. I'm already in there, so it's not showing me. You'll have to, it'll say save your spot. You click there, and you can join us on the live Q&A. And you will have also have access to the replay. Totally free, but that's uh, just one of those that I'm offering to everyone. Because there are certain things about the pattern that regardless of how much you want to learn for sewing, that I would like to share with you for success on your side. If you're making it for yourself or somebody else. All right, what size needle on the laminate? Oh, Melody. Oh gosh, you know what? You might want to use, um, whew. I would say test it because I'm almost, wondering if you want to use a denim jean needle. It's a little bit um, wider. It'll give a really nice looking top stitch on there, but I don't, but you don't want it too big that it leaves holes in your laminate. Um, so let me do some checking. I might even message Rhonda on that because I haven't sewn a lot with laminate and see what she has to say. By the way, speaking of Rhonda from Schmetz Needles, I'm putting together a little list of people that you guys have asked me through the last year that you would like to see interviewed here on the show. So if you ever have anyone that you want me to interview, um, you can always leave me a message or a suggestion. It uh, doesn't mean I'm going to always take you up on it, but if it's somebody who falls in line with a lot of things that I do, I will definitely put it into the Richter scale if our schedules allow. Okay, let's see. Oh, Claudia, great. I'm so glad you're back again. And what do we have here? Oh, yes. You guys are giving so many good suggestions here. We got Celeste showed up. <laughs> we Kelly, we all love Rhonda. How could you not? She's so adorable. And she's super smart when it comes to the needles. Of course, that's what she does. But I mean, there's a lot of knowledge in those what needles to choose and things like that. Microtech needles. Oh, yes. Those are great. And they have a different puncture at the end. Well, a different, uh, you have to look at them closely. I use Microtech needles quite often for stretch fabrics too. Every once in a while. But Microtech, they just pierce that fabric and don't leave a large hole. Thanks, Tracy. I, <laughs> you must have read my mind. I was thinking of it. Oh, we should have Rachel on, Liz. That's a great idea. I love Rachel. That will be on the list. I'll ask her if she can. And I'll ask Rhonda too. I asked Rhonda last year, but she was really busy. And then she's, um, but I, I don't know how her schedule is right now, but we'll ask her. We'll, we'll put some feelers out. <laughs> okay, back to the schedule. I just want to show a couple more things on here. So as you go through the schedule, this is just one big long page of writing. So don't get too bored. It's just the schedule. I've changed it since yesterday, so again, go back. And I do have a note. Please note, these dates might change depending on my schedule. You know me. I never know if I have to be somewhere quickly or have to do something. Uh, I also left on here part one of It's So Easy, and you can watch that right from this page. Okie doke. Now, 
I'm going to take you to one more page here. Okay, it didn't upload. I have 2020 events listed, but it's in the wrong location. So I will just leave a post for that later. So what can you expect to look forward to next month is Puyallup. I hope to see you there. The classes are open. I Again, I'm only doing... I only proposed those shorter classes so I'd have more time to spend in the Kai Scissors booth saying hi to you guys and just not in-depth classes. Shortly after that is the Heidi event. Those of you in St. Louis, if you've ever been to this, it's different than like a sewing expo. They have different rooms. You rotate. So you're not going to hang out with me all day. You will have an opportunity to spend time in each classroom. I think it's uh, three days and you get about an hour and a half to two hours in each class. We, I have a project that'll take an hour and a half and you're on a certain machine. They supply all the sewing machines. If you ever want to come and play with some of the best of the best machines, it's a lot of fun and it's hands-on. So you'll leave with projects. It's pretty cool. I've done this in the past and I missed it last year because I was at the Atlanta event. So this year I'm ready for it. And that is in the end of March. And I will, um, put this all on the website later. It, I hit it. I must've hit the wrong save or something. So it's there. Uh, okay. Let's see. After that, uh, there is uh, Linda's. Linda Z's in Chicago. And that is a two day event. And that we are going to be sewing the Linda tunic. I believe, no, we're doing knits there. We're doing knits there. I have to keep it all straight. So those are the three just off the top of my head. But I have more and the books are closed for 2020 as far as my travels. So um, I appreciate everyone who asked if I could come to your event, but um, it's full for 2020. And I will be hosting one event in my studio, which I will be posting the date in the Fashion Sewing Club here shortly. Oh, Angela, I made myself a spreadsheet with all your URLs. Now I have all your pages in one place. Good job, Jan. I probably need that. I can hardly find all of it. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, Linda Z's, it, she's on the north side, and I've never been to their store, but I hear it's awesome. They have a ton of new knits. I'm dying to try these new knits. And so the classes are going to be, we're going to be making tops, and I think you'll have a lot of fun with it. Definitely. Okay, so I think there was, oh, yes, one more thing for you before I let you go today. Oh, hold on. Let's see if I can find it. Don't forget about the contest. That's what I'm trying to bring up here, and it didn't bring it up. Let's see if I... <laughs> Maybe. Okay, we'll try this one. You know what the giveaway is, don't you? Blaine was on last week, and they are the sponsor for this entire uh, month, Soy Machines Plus. And let me just bring this contest up for you. If you've never done my contest before, I've left links everywhere. But let me just show you real quick where it is on here. If you are on the website, you go to Facebook, forward facebook.com forward slash Angela Wolf Couture. That's my Facebook page. And if you scroll down to the left, you will see there's live videos, contests, there's all kinds of things. But here's the contest. And when you click on contest, and I'll actually share this link right now in the comments so it'll show up on YouTube and Facebook. Uh, they are donating as a giveaway an amazing, this thing's like a thousand bucks, actually $1,200 to be exact. This is the Brother Disney Limited Edition Scan and Cut, which I showed you in this August, I think it was August, when all the new products came out. People were drooling over this. So you just go to the contest page. You can enter every single day. And there's a few more things on here. If you want to join the Fashion Sewing Club, I left a link there. Here's something new. On the contest for 2020, I will be asking a question. Are you a member of the Fashion Sewing Club? You can see that right here. Yes, I am. No, but would you email me info? And no, thanks. Whatever you put is fine. But if you are a member, guess what? you automatically get an extra entry just for being a member. And not only that, when I do extra little giveaways, you are already entered into there. So good luck, everyone. And if it's a contest that's only shipping in the US, still go enter it because I have a lot of digital products. 
that I can send your way. So even if the actual giveaway like this one is USA only, that doesn't mean that you shouldn't enter. So still enter because if I happen to draw your name and you can't win that, I will find something in my little stash to give to you. How's that? Got to have it fun for everyone, right? Uh, Karina, I think that this one is USA only. I was waiting to hear back from Blaine. So as soon as I confirm, I'll find out. But sometimes they'll say if, if you want to pay shipping, it can still go that way. So be sure to still enter. I'll find out. But still enter. Because if you win, we'll figure out a way to get that to you. <laughs> if I got to ship it. But anyone who's in another country, feel free. Because just know that if you win, you'll have the option if you want us to ship it to you. And quite often, I don't mind doing that at all. I ship overseas every day. It just depends on the company. But something like that, we'd have to figure out a way. Oh, Celeste, I like the Linda Z setup. Have you tried their new knit fabrics? I'm dying to try these. I heard they're fantastic. Oh, and she offers a ton of really great classes. Oh, a dollar a yard discount for life? That's nice. Whew, I like that. <laughs> All right, I'm just making sure I'm not missing any of your questions. Is there anything else that I'm forgetting for the day, by the way? Upload the spreadsheet to files, please. Spreadsheet to files. Hmm. That would be, <laughs> I must have missed the first comment on that. Oh, there, Jan's spreadsheet. <laughs> yes, there are a lot of websites. So by the way, if you're trying to find a lot of my information, if you go to AngelaWolf.com, there's a link on the top where it takes you everywhere I am. But the Fashion Sewing Club, has everything in there. All the videos, if I wrote a blog, if I'm doing like these Feature Friday videos, those are all in there. Maybe you don't care about those. Well, you can skip right past that chapter. So it's one place, a one nonstop shop. It's so much easier. That's actually where I go to find half my stuff. So at the end of every week, anything that shows up of mine, if it's a brother blog, if it's something else, I put it into the Fashion Sewing Club and try to itemize where it's supposed to go. And hopefully, the website never crashes because there's a lot of info in there. I think we're up to like 200 some odd videos. Yeah. Oh, Jan spreadsheet. <laughs> Got it, guys. All right. So uh, I think that's it for today. If there's anything else, you can always leave me a comment. Again, I'm sorry today was shorter, but I wanted to make it brief and to the point. So I'm going to go sew my cashmere jacket. I do have one part finished. I'll show you. Hold on a second. It's around here somewhere. Here you go. Actually, I have quite a bit finished on it, but I don't want to be a spoiler alert. So here is the, I'm getting ready to do the back because I sew the entire back together first before I attach it to the jacket. So here's the cashmere, there's the lining, and a little trick for you. When I sewed this, and I, I have all this on video that will be showing up somewhere in about two weeks. But uh, this, I did understitching to keep the lining in place. Then I turned it up and pressed it. And if you notice, when I pressed it, I made sure that the lining was pushed a little bit away from the seam. And if you look at your pattern pieces, this back, this is this black back flap right here. This the lining is a little bit shorter in width. And if yours is not for some reason, then once you press this up, you can trim around and make sure it's even. But you want the lining to push to the wrong side. So see that really close? And then I did the triple stitch, which is my favorite top stitching stitch ever. And I changed it to a 3.5, I believe. It might've been a 4.0, I have to look. I took notes. And now this is ready to attach to the back. And you cannot see the lining while I'm wearing it, right? Only it's just a little peekaboo. Very cool. 
And this is silk. I think I still have a few yards of this left on my website. So anything new on the website? My new thread is up there. All the colors are showing up hopefully this time. I had them up there, but they weren't showing. And all the interfacing is up there. I just got a whole nother batch in. So if it had said out of stock, it's back in stock. There's four kinds. So if you're wondering which one will go with your fabric, you can always email me. There was somebody, Trudy, you emailed me something this morning. I will get back to you. And one other person sent me a photo. I'll get back to you too. So don't think I didn't read your emails. <laughs> I was just scanning through them and I didn't reply if I didn't have a quick answer. So anything else from you guys? Uh, oh, Jan, you can upload it. Just put it in the um, Angelo of Patterns group. So go into the Angelo of Patterns group and upload that, what you have there. And if it doesn't let you upload it, send it to me and I'll upload it. No problem. Uh-oh, Terry, I just read this about your mom. Oh, I'm so sorry. All right, sending prayers. I saw everyone saying sending prayers your way. I couldn't figure out what it was. So, all right, guys, have a great day. And so according to our schedule, I will see you. I have my handy dandy calendar. And no, it's not an Angela Wolf calendar, but I'm working on that because I think that would be very cute. Uh, this is a dollar store. One dollar. <laughs> and I've already messed up all of January. There's enough cross outs here that, oh my goodness. All right, so I will see you tomorrow in the Angela Wolf Patterns group at 4 p.m. talking about the Chloe Trench. So Open your pattern, go through it. If you ordered a paper pattern or if you're ordering a paper pattern today, but you want the digital version, all you have to do is message me because if you have the paper version, you get the digital for free. So if I think I have everyone up to date who wanted the digital, but if not, all you gotta do is message me and I'll add it to your order. Anything else? I think that's good. I just saw something pop up. I think we're good. All right, guys, have a great day. Stay warm uh, and I will look forward to all of your questions tomorrow. Let me see what Kelly has to say. Are we cutting fabric yet or still gathering? Uh, Kelly, I will be cutting tomorrow in our Angela Patterns group. Yes. So bring your comments, bring your questions, go through your pattern. If you have any concerns, I will help you out tomorrow. And those in the Fashion Sewing Club, or even if you join now, go back and watch yesterday's episode. There was a lot of good information in there besides a great chat. So the new evening show is <laughs> going to be called, according to the Wolfpack, Sew and Sip. Oh yeah, I loved that. That was so cute. I kept saying sip and sew, <laughs> whichever way you want to say it. Sew and sip? I don't know. It'll be fun. Regardless if it's tea, wine, what else is in there? Champagne maybe? <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys. Have a great day.